These rising gas prices are a good way uh, to sort of push back against uh, the good feelings that Biden is engendering uh, without uh, actually um, taking aim at the Ukraine war or anything that could be sort of um, uh, perceived as, as harming that effort. All right, interesting. That sounded like a conspiracy theory. But as we all know, they tell themselves that there are reasons why it's different when they do it. Yesterday on the Talking Potato Show, he and his publicly funded NPR guest floated what could legitimately be called a conspiracy theory. When they suggested that criticism of the president on high gas prices was all just political propaganda on the part of their favorite boogeymen, Fox News and the right wing. Um, Eric, are you feeling it in Florida as well? What, 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 how, do you, how do you read the coverage of high gas prices? Because it is obviously a real issue. I was going to say, you should come to Florida. I only paid 60 bucks to fill up my tank. But <laughs> Nice. He starts by laughing off high gas prices, stating that he only paid $60 to fill up his car. Not realizing, apparently, that 60 bucks is a lot to fill up your car, especially when you're middle class and commuting to work every day. Or maybe he was trying to make a joke about how high gas prices are? I'm not sure, but he does go on to treat it like it's not a legitimate issue. We're going to fry some more potatoes, but first, this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Bloomberg Financial News has said the stock market lost over a trillion dollars so far this year. You heard that right, a trillion dollars. Facebook has fallen out of the top 10 tech stocks and all the markets have the jitters. Like you, people are worried, really worried, except those with gold and silver as their backup plan. They know that with the precious metals IRA, they'll be fine. Noble Gold has thousands of clients who have safely invested with them. Most heard an ad just like this and called the experts. Not a call center, but special specialists who will give you your options. And for the month of March, with a qualified IRA above 20K, you'll get a three ounce silver American virtue coin or a five ounce America the beautiful silver coin for anything over 50K. Call 877-646-5347 now to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. You can also find the link in the description or pinned comment. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. What's interesting to me about this is that this isn't new for Fox. Uh, they were trying to make this connection back in November and even earlier. And uh, OK, I got to stop here. I'm sorry. His claim is that Fox News is doing something sinister by connecting high gas prices to Joe Biden. No more. No new fracking. We, we are. We are going to get rid of fossil fuels. Well, like, what about, say, stopping fracking and stopping yeah. the pipe? Would there be any place for fossil fuels, including coal and fracking, in a Biden administration? No, it would be, we, would, we would work it out. We would make sure it's eliminated. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, we're going to end fossil fuel, and I am not going to cooperate. No ability for the oil industry to continue to drill, period ends number one three consecutive american presidents have enjoyed stints of explosive economic growth due to a boom in oil and natural gas production as president would you be willing to sacrifice some of that growth even knowing potentially that it could displace thousands maybe hundreds of thousands of blue collar workers in the interest of transitioning to that greener economy the answer is yes what's interesting to me about this is that this isn't new for fox uh, they were trying to make this connection back in November and even earlier. Something that non-Fox News media would never do to a Democrat. What do you say to people who are losing patience with gas prices at $3 a gallon? What we are seeing is, you know, a, a government run for the oil company. Drivers are paying a heavy price for the Bush administration's failure to enact a comprehensive energy strategy. This Congress, under the Democratic leadership, is working to make up for years of inaction, taking America in a new direction that helps bring down the cost of gas. Gas prices have more than doubled since George Bush became our president. Then Obama gets into office, has even higher gas prices, and this is what we get. You wouldn't think high gas and oil prices would be a blessing in disguise, but they are. As Victor Lopez found out, they're causing a big jump in the number of jobs. 
We turn now to five things you should know about gas, specifically why gas prices, even at over $4 a gallon, can sometimes be a good thing. And we know that rising gas prices are forcing us to search for alternative fuels and more fuel efficient cars. There are some other reasons to be optimistic about the high cost of gas. Here are just a few of them. 2,220 people have already been saved over the past year because a reduction in driving has led to less particle pollution in the air. If gas prices stay uh, at $4 a gallon for a year or more, then we can expect that about 1,000 people a month will not die. Despite the fact that these gas prices have been rising since Joe Biden took office, despite the fact that Biden is fanatically and openly anti-oil, anti-drilling, and pro-getting our oil from foreign enemies. Despite the fact that we've heard excuse after excuse after excuse from the Democrats themselves and their mouthpieces like this guy, claiming that inflation has nothing to do with Biden's insane spending, is temporary, it's Trump's fault, it's COVID's fault, and now it's Putin's fault. Despite all of this, we're supposed to believe that this is some kind of shadowy right-wing conspiracy by Fox news to hurt Joe Biden, whose approval numbers just a couple weeks ago were below 36% and have only bounced back a few points since the State of the Union, which of course the Democrat state media lost their minds over. Just look at how CNN reacted when gas prices dropped just a few cents, which of course they attributed to Joe Biden. Gas prices are heading south, down. A government forecast, forecast says that they could drop below $3 a gallon. Whew. Finally, some economic relief, however minor. Americans are paying a little less at the pump after weeks of rising energy prices. Relief for the United States as energy costs drop. That pain that you've been feeling at the pump, it may be short-lived. There is finally some relief at the pump. Good news at the pump. Finally getting some relief, as you mentioned. The national average price of gas dropped four cents in the last week. Gas dropped nearly a nickel in the last week. It's a seven-week low. It's moving in the right direction. The average is now at a seven-week low. Actually, a seven-week low. Slightly lower gas prices, so that's good news. Yeah, this is the kind of positive news we've wanted. Yeah, really good economic news, including dropping gas prices. Gas prices will tumble below $3 a gallon soon. So that's good news. person familiar with the White House's thinking told me today that lower prices at the pump are good news. And I do think we have to note that gas prices and natural gas, for example, going way down. There are plenty of signs that the U.S. economy is strong. This economy moving in the right direction. I'm sure it's just somehow different when they do it. And right now, what it feels like is an attempt to sort of forestall um, the natural tendency that Americans have to rally around the president when he's in the middle of an international crisis, especially something like the Ukraine war, where there seems to be a lot of agreement uh, with how he's handling it. Not this time. It never happened. What the f is he basing this on? According to CNN just yesterday, this massive show of support for his bumbling circus of a Ukrainian policy amounts to a five-point bump, bringing him to 42%. There seems to be a lot of agreement uh, with how he's handling it. And what is there exactly to support? I am by no means advocating for World War III here, but Putin is doing what he's doing because the West looks and acts weak. Biden and the rest of NATO are just oozing with weakness right now. Hopefully for all of us, they're taking a lesson from Sun Tzu, but I highly doubt it. All Putin has to do is ratchet up his current campaign and keep threatening nuclear war if anyone gets involved. And that's about all there is to say about it. The West is way too scared of Russia to do anything about it. And just think about how great all of this is gonna go once China starts getting involved. The current sanctions or even more sanctions aren't gonna stop anything and might actually motivate Putin to continue his campaign into the rest of the former Soviet states. If I were Poland, I'd be worried right now. There's a lot more to say about this, but yeah, Let's go, Brandon. So these rising ah. gas prices are a good way uh, to sort of push back against uh, the good feelings that Biden is engendering uh, without uh, actually um, taking aim at the Ukraine war or anything that could be sort of um, uh, perceived as, as harming that effort. All right. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Nope. It's a conspiracy theory straight up. This guy lives in a Democrat state media bubble over there at NPR, and he thinks that the media is supposed to operate as a PR marketing firm when a Democrat's in office. There is absolutely nothing outside the bounds of normalcy to report on high gas prices and attach them to the president. At least when a Republican is in office. When Democrats get in, though, suddenly everything is detached from them. 
That's how they could claim that Obama was a scandal-free presidency because they either didn't report on his scandals or when they did, it was just reported broadly as the government. All right, folks, that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. As always, if you want to support this channel, hit that like button, share, subscribe, and leave us a comment to let us all know what you think.